Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the one of the method uh, which is the new addition in Java 8 in class, it's called files. So, if I go to the source code and if I press Ctrl O and try to search by typing walk. So, I am talking about the, these two methods, bottom two methods. So, walk which takes path, three parameters, path, int and file visit options and path which takes two parameters first parameter is the path and uh, second parameter is the uh, file visit option so if you go to the second method in the bottom then you can see this method basically returns uh, a stream of path right a stream of path which takes two argument path as well as file visit option through some exception and this method basically calls internally another overloaded method walk overloaded which accepts three parameters so if you know how to use any of one then you can go for easily another one right so i will show you in this demo so how to make use of this uh, method so which takes three parameter and first uh, api we show walk method which takes two parameters these two parameters and second a walk method which takes two parameters internally, internally makes call to this method so in this demo we'll see how we can make use of this method but uh, let's try to understand what does basically walk method the walk returns a stream that is lazily populated with path by walking the file tree rooted at the given starting file the file tree is traversed depth first the elements in the stream are path objects that are obtained as if by resolving the relative path against a start the stream walks the file tree as elements are consumed. The stream return is guaranteed to have at least one element, the starting file itself. For each file is visited, the stream attempts to read its basic file attributes. If the file is a directory and can be opened successfully, entries in the directory and their descendants will follow the directory in the stream as they are encountered. When all entries have been visited, then the directory is closed automatically. The file tree walk then continues at the next sibling of the directory. Uh, you can say max depth. The max depth parameter is the maximum number of level directories to visit. A value of 0 means that only the starting file is visited unless denied by the security manager a uh, value of max value so here you can specify integer dot max value uh, may be used to indicate that all levels should be visited uh, so in this example we are going to demonstrate demonstrate how to list all the files and sub directory in a directory so here is a i have created a project and this project contains a class with main method so let's try to understand through an example so paths as a method is called get method and here in this get method i'm going to specify uh, this uh, directory name itself so in this directory there are several projects right so this directory i'm going to specify over here so here you either you can specify the absolute path or relative path so let's try with the absolute path after that we'll uh, modify here as a relative path so we have a path object now files class as a method is called walk just we have seen then first of all i'm going to show you this so this this one is easy to use right so let's start with this so a start is nothing but this it's a, a start is nothing but the path object so let's make this variable name as a start and max depth i can specify integer dot uh, max value so that this will visit in the every direct sub directory as well now here if you look into the api then you need to specify the file visit options which accepts uh, where up so here i'm going to file visit option and here i'll i'll select this one follow links so this is an enumeration so this is just an enumeration which provides constant now 
uh, let's uh, wrap this code inside the try cache because this throws some exception now let's look into the return type of this value this returns us uh, a walk uh, 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 i mean a stream of path and this is saying that resource leak right the local the value of the local value you know again this will swing as a, if you try to use this variable so this returns us the path of a stream so we can apply for each loop right so and for each loop accepts consumer object so system dot out and double colon printer and this is called method reference so this is a, one of the uh, in most important enhancement in java 8 right so consumer object you can uh, specify as a method reference as well right now here if you put a cursor saying that resource leak walk is, uh, walk is never closed so what i'll do uh, we will we are not going to create a finally block and there we are not trying to close this rather we will use the one of the important feature uh, was introduced in the jdk 1.7 so that is called uh, try with resources try with resources you can specify your resource in the try over here besides the try and you can if you have more than one resource then you can have a semicolon separated but we have only one resource so remove this semicolon now now this row resource you don't need to call it explicitly so so this will be called by the jvm and of the program itself so here we don't require a finally block and if i run this program then you can see all directory and files will be listed so you can see so in this folder we have a uh, different projects all projects have been uh, all dot class java class everything has been printed even in workspace we have a dot metadata folder inside dot metadata we have a sub directory everything is getting printed over here right and as i as i said this returns you the stream so here you have chance to apply some kind of i mean uh, filter also you can apply and whatever you want to filter out those things you can filter right and one more thing here i have applied the absolute path so instead of absolute you can specify the relative path as well right if you specify the relative path then see it's working work perfectly fine right if you specify i mean absolute path then suppose if this project you try to run under some other machine and you have specify the location as a c call c drive and you are trying to run this project in some other drive so that will not run right so just you are forcing the user to go in the c drive and create this folder right so that's why i have a specified relative path so you can keep this project in any directory but name yeah, you should keep the project name as it is and this will run perfectly fine so i hope you understood uh, how to make use of walk api which is available in the files class so if you look at the file class and if you go to the top and try to search by typing 1.8 then there are around uh, more than i mean you can count how many methods are there so almost i have covered all methods which is in the addition of java 8 in this class so all these classes i have covered in series uh, past series of video tutorial so that's all in java io uh, uh, enhancement in java jdk 1.8 i hope you enjoyed learning this video this code i'm going to upload on the github and github location i will uh, specify in the video description itself so thanks for watching this video please do subscribe my youtube channel and see you in next video tutorial